Alrighty, welcome back, boys and girls. It's your main math man, Mr. Shank, coming to you live from Walker Grant Middle School. And uh, for today's warm up, it says this it says, What is true about the equation for the graph shown? And that gives you a couple options uh, as far as the slope. So always be able to uh, define what slope is. So we're going to say that's the slope. Slope is going to be equal to m, which is equal to, as always, the change in y. I can draw this carefully. Change in y. And then that's over the change in x. So you want to be able to calculate that very easily. So change in x. So, and we'll, we'll uh, be able to see what that is like uh, in just a moment. So at, anytime you're given uh, a multiple choice question like this, there's going to be uh, two answers that are obviously false. Meaning this, at any point in time, if you can just eliminate two of these answers right away, it becomes a true or false question because there's only two, uh, two choices now. If you're able to limit the amount of choices on multiple choice, it becomes a lot simpler and you have a better chance of getting the question right. So, let's say, let's see, what type of slope is this? So as, let's say as, uh, I'm doing purple here, as x increases, what happens to y? As x increases, what happens to y? Well, so we're going along the uh, let's use blue. Let's try that again. Let's use blue. And so if we use blue, again, we're going along the x-axis, so from left to right. So our values are increasing for x. And now, what happens with y? So as we're going from left to right, what happens to y? So y, we can say y decreases, decreases. And what that's going to mean is we're going to have a negative slope. A negative, negative slope. And it's a lot easier to see because you're saying, hey, as I'm going from left to right, what's happening to my graph? It's going down. So it's falling to that bottom right. So we can say our slope is going to be negative. So right away, I'm, I know it's negative. All right, and so if we have a negative slope, well, if we look at our answer choices, already we can eliminate C and we can eliminate D, as those have uh, a zero slope, so that would just be a horizontal line, which we don't have, and then it has a positive slope, which we do not have. So now all I have to figure out, all right, true or false, is it a slope of negative two? So what that one is saying is this. It is saying the slope is for every two steps down, you have one step to the right. So let's see. Let's take, uh, let's take our origin. Let's our point zero, zero. And it's saying I should be able to go two steps down. So let's go two steps down, one, two. And then does it make a point when I go over right, one? over right one. Yes, it does. And so I should be able to make this pattern each time. So two steps down, one to the right. So notice that I'm making that staircase as we always do, but it has the points on the line. So again, I'm not, I'm not passing that line as I plot those points. So we know then for sure that it should be A. But make sure you're seeing as well if it was a negative uh, slope of negative one, it should uh, only go over one step at a time, which we are not doing since we're going down two. So we know that B is not an answer choice. Make sure you're copying this down. Make sure you are listening carefully to each and everything that is on here, because you want to make sure that, hey, you get all the opportunities to succeed. And as always, make sure to slam that subscribe button.